It is time for our Sunday morning Q&A, and joining us this morning is Michael Walk, MTA's Director of Service Development. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Good to see you, too. All right. So we wanted to bring you in because there are a few issues that really concern people and really get up people's ire, and that is when school districts change and when mass transit routes change. Sure. So you have a big job ahead. So how do you take into concern those real concerns that people may lose their access to, to work? Sure. It's a great question. The Changing a bus route or a system in whole is not easy ever. Yeah. Um, and um, folks are used to the system as it works today, even if it is not working the best. So we really listen to riders' concerns. We, we want the system. It has to work better for more people. And that's what Baltimore Link is about, is really making it work better for this region. All right. So one of the goals is to improve accessibility to jobs. So how do you go about doing that? Well, uh, first, it's improving the frequency of service. Mm -hmm. One thing in Baltimore Link we really cared about is adding frequent bus routes. We actually increased the number of jobs that are accessible to frequent transit by over 130,000 jobs. And that helps people get to their jobs faster and also to increase transit service to the new job centers. Things are changing in Baltimore. New job centers are growing up outside of the downtown area, and we have to serve those well. This system will do that. How do you take into account, because I, I read a criticism once where it said when these changes take place, the people that are making the changes are not necessarily the people that are using mass transit. So how do you bring in those voices that you really need to hear from? Well, the, the people that we want to hear from, of course, are our riders every day. We are coming to them with workshops. We already hold four out of ten. We have six more to go. Okay. We also have an online forum where riders uh, and constituents are coming online and talking with us online. We also have a hotline where people can call in and just let us know what's going on. And our transit planners are out there in the communities meeting with community associations, talking with council presidents, uh, and sitting at bus stops talking with riders about what they need. So you're really making that effort to get that voice. Absolutely. There's some concern about the future of the Charm City Circulator, which is free and immensely popular. Is that going to be around? Um, as far as we at the MTA know, the Charm City Circulator will continue to be operated. In fact, our Baltimore Link plan increases the amount of state support for the circulator by 50%. Uh, to help keep that system running and running well. Because people like it. Absolutely. Well, thanks for coming in, Michael Walk. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. You too.